quite strange to talk about this album. It was not something planned. I just bought this instrument in 1995, moved by two strong things that happened at that time. The most important one was a mini tour with a mandolin orchestra and group rented a microbus and my double ordinary double bass just doesn't fit any kind of microbus. And then uh, just told me to find a way to fix it. But it was not so concerned about this difficulty. I just thought about that for about two months before the concert. And at that time, acoustic MTV rock groups were so popular. And there was a lot of possibilities to buy a cheap instrument like this, uh, acoustic bass guitar. Then I bought it the same day from the concert and only two hours before go inside the bus. And then I discovered the instrument inside the bus going to the concert. I remember we played a lot of Baroque music and it was really impressive because this instrument fit so well with the whole mandolin orchestra as well as with the repertoire. Then I remember after that sometimes having some fun with this instrument because I was not uh, waiting for anything special with this instrument. No expectations, definitely no expectations. Just have something to to have fun after the concert and something to be used in situations like that where the double bass uh, doesn't fit or in some kind of gigs that have not a good payment. Then I remember... Always, when I tried to play this instrument, this sonority was pushing me to some kind of something like Renaissance and Baroque uh, inspiration because of its characteristic sound close to some lute or especially to close to some uh, Renaissance colazione. That was a kind of uh, acoustic bass guitar from Renaissance and Baroque. I used this instrument in a situation with uh, Strange Meetings Trio, playing an eighth track from the first album called Miniatura. Then I played at some other recording gigs, but nothing special. And then in December 2000, I played a quartet from this instrument called Northern Sunrise, a composition from Jan Weber from Strange Meetings. And this is the title song from my solo album, released in 2018 or 2019. 2019. Then I used it again to play a very discreet uh, soundtrack from a documentary called Shown. And after that, I used it in two tracks. At that same time I was recording Chão, I played two improvised pieces that are on the solo album called Hartarn. And after that, this instrument was left in front of me in the main room studio. And after looking to this instrument for about two years and a half, I decided to make something more dedicated to it. I just put the microphone in front of it and played for about two days. Very immersive uh, situation. And the result was this album, nothing exactly expected. But and it was more like a self-challenge. I have no special idea or expectation about what will happen, but just curious about what can I get from this instrument in this solo situation with only this instrument, not a combining with other instruments like it was in the Hearthstone album? So that's the result. It was a good surprise. It's not a virtuoso album, definitely not. Just curious about which kind of musical results it's possible to obtain using this instrument after two immersive days playing on it. It's like that kind of feeling, let's see what will happen. Because I have no idea until I finish all the recordings and listen to everything and start to select takes. I'm quite happy with this result and I like this introspective acoustic sonority. That's it. Hope you like it also. <laughs>